We begin with breaking news out of Holyoke. The wait for the decision from the state about whether the school district can come out from under state receivership is over for now. Welcome everyone to Western Mass News at 6. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Abby Carnavalli. The news isn't what the city hoped for. Western Mass News reporter Olivia Hickey joins us live in Holyoke. Olivia, what's the latest information that you can share with us? Chris and Abby, they've been waiting all day for a decision. And minutes ago, city leaders received a letter from Department of Elementary and Secondary Education Commissioner Jeffrey Riley. Now, Western Mass News also obtained a copy of that letter moments ago. It reads in part, in light of the progress to date, the department would like to further confer with the receiver and the school committee about how to sustain and build upon the district's progress as we make plans for returning the district to local control. To allow for these conversations to proceed at this time, I am deferring a formal determination on your petition. For background, Holyoke Public Schools has been under the receivership since 2015, when the State Board of Education assumed control of the district and appointed a receiver to oversee a turnaround plan. The school district's current receiver is Superintendent Anthony Soto, who has been in the role since 2021. Now, one para I spoke with off camera this afternoon tells me while some parts of the receivership work, she says it's overall negative and the district should regain control. Everything it's through the state first instead of how the people here in Holyoke, um, what we need or what um, the teachers need, what the students need. Superintendent Soto has asked Desi to begin the process to transition away from receivership in December. Again, that decision has been deferred. Now, we just received word from school superintendent Anthony Soto on this evening's decision. He shares a statement that reads in part, I am encouraged by the commissioner's commitment to continuing the conversation about a return to local control. It goes on to say, I am committed to partnering with the Holyoke School Committee and Department of Elementary and Secondary Education to ensure every Holyoke student develops the skills and access is the opportunities to graduate high school prepared for life, career, and college. Now, Western Mass News will continue to follow the situation closely. Coming up today at 10 and 11, we hear from a member of the Holyoke School Committee. Reporting live in Holyoke, Olivia Hickey, Western Mass News. Olivia.